Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, we will talk, uh, we will, uh, talk about how to read analog voltage from uh, Arduino board using MATLAB. So, let's first have a look to our setup. Uh, this is our setup where we have three things. Here is the Arduino board which is connected to the USB cable uh, to computer and then we have created a small uh, potentiometer for varying the voltages across this terminal. As you know potentiometer has three terminals and the middle one terminal uh, vary across it and so the uh, resistance across two portions of the potentiometer uh, keeps on varying. So we have connected one terminal of the potentiometer to the plus power, plus 5 voltage and the another terminal to the uh, ground. And as we will keep on varying this knob of the potentiometer, the voltage at the middle pin will be keep on varying. So for keeping track of the voltage at the middle, term, uh, middle pin, we have connected uh, a multimeter to it and it will keep on showing the current voltage of the potential so let's have a look right, so if we change the knob the voltage across it is varying now it is increasing now if we go counterclockwise the voltage across it will be decreasing so this is our hardware setup and as we discussed this arduino board is connected to pc via usb cable so let's open matlab yes and so first of all we will create an arduino object a equals to arduino so it will communicate to the board and arduino object has been created so if we look at the a we will get several information now for reading the voltage uh, from the Arduino is uh, very simple and there is a command read voltage bracket object and the pin number. So this third pin of this potentiometer, uh, second pin of this potentiometer to which we are uh, varying the uh, voltage is connected to the A0 pin of the Arduino. A0 means analog 0 pin of the Arduino in a board so comma zero and it will give you the output so obviously because it is using uh, uh, i think uh, 10 bit uh, and dac uh, digital and uh, uh, 10 bit adc analog to digital converter so it will not be as uh, accurate as the building uh, voltmeter but it will be a very much an approximation with it like we are getting one volt in the voltmeter so we'll be getting as a point 9521 voltage so this command directly converts the read voltage into the uh, into uh, this uh, uh, voltage and to convert directly into the converted the one of the um, reason of this uh, change is uh, the maximum voltage range of this potentiometer is up to 5 volt uh, more than 5 volt and the max and the uh, conversion factor or the reference voltage in MATLAB while doing this conversion is the uh, 5 volt. So this uh, differences also uh, also are the source for this uh, type of error like 0 0.95 while reading and we were getting 0 0.1. So uh, suppose uh, we read the voltage again uh, we'll get a comma 0 like 2.4 and uh, it's 2.3031 so the kind of 0 0.09 volt error so we can calculate uh, easily uh, the error voltage now uh, let's create a small program in which we will be uh, continuously reading the voltage of uh, from this potentiometer because this particular program can be useful uh, for uh, creating a small circuitry for like uh, LDR based or some other sensor based which provides the output in the analog form. 
so uh, we will create because we want to uh, exactly we want to do we want to read the analog voltage and we want to display it continuously over the uh, graph in MATLAB or, or varying how the voltage is varying according so for i equals to the uh, 1 to infinity and then we will keep on reading temp of i is equals to uh, read voltage that is a comma 0 and then we are plotting it to the temp and hold on command and we are also providing some amount of delay so we are also so we will be able to see what is happening exactly and then and so here we are getting a graph uh, which is displaying it is 2.4 so right now it is near about 2.4 let's do some small changes in the program so that we will be keep on uh, uh, keep on viewing uh, the read voltage in the command window as well in the graph continuously so this was our previous program and we'll remove this terminal here and before it we will define arduino object so a plus to arduino read voltage temp okay fine let's see oh, yes so here we are getting current values uh, multimeter is uh, displaying 2.41 and we are getting nearly uh, the same value 2.32 2.3 so uh, it uh, it can be seen as a kind of error which we are getting and which uh, we can apply some filtering algorithm or some averaging algorithm to smooth it out like uh, we can apply simply uh, uh, some average algorithm like it is taking the 100 values and then taking the average of those 100 values and then displaying the result so by that way uh, we can uh, remove uh, these fluctuations up to a much extent so if we try to vary the voltage across this so we will now we are increasing it so our read voltage is also being increased so now it's 3.5 and we are getting 3.3 3.4 voltage from this arduino so let's increase a little bit 3.9 uh, 4.5 4.4 so as it is going towards the upper side the error margin is being increasing because of the 5 voltage uh, reference voltage because now it's 5 we are now getting exactly 4.9951 which will be getting continuously and let's go to the lower range now it's 0 0.1 so we are getting 0 0.3 something like that. so it's interesting Oh, and you can create uh, several other application based on this uh, by reading this analog voltage from any sensor or from this potentiometer so i hope you have enjoyed this video and in the upcoming video we'll talk uh, uh, more about uh, uh, interfacing the sensor with arduino and then accessing those values into matlab so that's it for this video thank you